guys and welcome back to another video as you can see i'm in my workout clothes because i'm about to go on a little hike it's not gonna be a very intense hike it's sort of it's more of a walk with an occasional incline i haven't been on a hike yet since i've been back to la the reason being for the first little bit that i was here it was super super hot it was like 40 degrees celsius it was not 40 degrees fahrenheit because that would have been a very different situation so it's about 40 degrees celsius super super hot also the air quality was really bad i actually have an app on my phone called air visual as you can imagine with everything happening in california right now uh we haven't seen much green air it's been mostly in the yellow sometimes in the red which pretty much means avoid going outside avoid breathing out side air so obviously we were still going outdoors but the idea of doing a hike in really high heat huffing and puffing bad air just didn't really seem super appealing to me but we've been in the green this week which is very exciting so i thought i would ease myself in with like a pretty simple hike i do want to do some more of these like hiking videos because i do really really love hiking and i want to share with you guys like some of my favorite hikes around la and also hoping to discover some new ones i have some favorites um, the one I'm going to show you today is one of them, but I like like different hikes for different moods and different weather and all that. This one today, definitely more of a walk, but yeah, I just wanted to like get out and get a little bit of exercise. Also, I just did a poll on my Instagram. Um, I will leave my handle for you guys like somewhere on the screen if you want to follow me. But I recently purchased what feels like everybody's favorite pre-workout drink, Celsius. This is not sponsored. I also mentioned this in my Instagram stories. This is just me being fully influenced, giving into the hype and being very curious about like what all the fuss is about with these drinks. But I did a little poll on my Instagram stories because I got a couple flavors and the two flavors I was most excited to try are these, which is the sparkling Fuji apple pear and the sparkling wild berry. And I just asked you guys which one I should try. So let's see what the what the people said. All right, looks like we have actually a pretty clear winner, 59% for wild berry. I just say I'm a little surprised. I feel like wild berry is like the obvious choice, but maybe it's the obvious choice because it's really good. So let's do a little on-camera taste test celsius lift it sparkling wild berry it smells like wild berries here we go cheers um i don't love it let me, let me try again that's gonna be a no for me you guys um okay here's my review i need to cleanse my palette i like the fizz i'm a huge like sparkling water person got a really nice amount of fizz to it the berry is like you know when you'd go to the dentist as a kid and they would do those like teeth whitening trays and you could pick the flavor of like whitening stuff that you got in the tray and i would always choose berry but it's like a really chemically fake berry flavor it's kind of like that i keep drinking it hoping like it'll taste better but it's not really i can't say that this is the flavor for me i can appreciate that berry is a very difficult flavor to get right and have it not taste super like chemically no no um it sort of has that quality of like i don't like it but i keep drinking it for some reason i mean it has no sugar no preservatives no anything like maybe that's all the stuff that makes it tastes good this is not it for me um i cannot say i will be repurchasing the wild berry flavor this is my honest review have i lost hope no because i have three more cans in my fridge that i am hoping i i will like more than this one did you guys lead me astray with wild berry were you all in on some joke i didn't know about mm. do you see what i mean when i say i keep drinking it but like i i don't know why we'll see how the effects are it's supposed to give me healthy energy so see if it does that that's been the celsius review i'm sorry if wild berry is your favorite flavor uh different things work for different people and this doesn't quite work for me i'm dressed i've got on my um girlfriend collective sports bra i really like the sports bra because let me just show you quickly it's got an adjustable clip back here which which I love so if it's like very much like a bra and then you can also adjust these guys which is great it's like really nice and supportive and then these leggings have a little spot for your phone which is great I'm also gonna throw on a sweater because it's about what time is it now where's my phone oh it's in my pocket wow 352 the sun is gonna set at like just past six and it wasn't like that hot to begin with so I'm just gonna throw on a sweater we'll probably take it off as we're walking anyway that is it I'm gonna try to have more of the celsius so I don't waste it and then head on this hike first stop on on our hike walk but like I said probably more of a walk than a hike is Starbucks I think you can actually tell how difficult a hike is depending on whether or not you can bring a coffee with you I feel like if you can bring a coffee with you it's probably a walk a walk yeah okay this is officially a walk but like I said there are inclines you are moving in an upward motion you could also call it a light hike a light hike a like 
if you will. That nope. doesn't quite work. Yeah. <laughs> it is like a chillier day today, so coffee will be nice. Oh, it's 73 degrees, I can see because the car is telling me. What is that in Celsius? Let's see if we can guess. I have an app on my phone. What do you think it is? Uh, 21. I'm gonna guess. 23 and the answer is 22.78 I'm the winner Okay guys, we've started. You can't really tell on camera, but it's the kind of incline I was talking about. A little bit of incline here as well. It took us a minute to find parking because I guess this is a very popular time of day to come. I need to work on my cardio. I'm already out of breath. We've literally been walking for maybe three minutes. Doesn't help that I'm also holding a tripod and talking, but that's no excuse. Gotta work on that heart health. That little speck over there on that mountain is Wisdom Tree, which is my favorite hike. All right, I'm not one for modern houses, but just imagine that is your view. Wow. If you like dogs, there are a lot of very cute puppers on this trail. We saw one that looked like a Muppet. We saw one that looked like a fox. Saw some pugs. If that isn't reason enough for you to do this hike, then I don't know what it is. The lighting is getting prettier and prettier. Also, for those of you guys who don't know, the Hollywood sign is actually just behind that hill on the other side. And we can finally see Warner. There's the studio. That clump of beige buildings right there. Wisdom tree. Hollywood sign. Warner Brothers. We started the descent in this beautiful valley and you can see all the little ant people going down, 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 down. That's gonna be us. I don't know if the camera is gonna properly show all these like cool purple hues, but it is sick. Let's see if I can try and zoom in and show you guys because it's like pastel and pretty. Look at that, that is so beautiful. Are you kidding? Wow, stunning. Look, there's a little rabbit. Oh, he's so little. Try and get a better angle. Slow. Look how small. Oh, he heard the bike bell. Oh, and he's gone. We finished the hike part, and now this is actually like one of my favorite parts of this walk is walking back down to the parking through this like beautiful neighborhood. It's like a prime manifesting spot because you're surrounded by all these beautiful homes. This neighborhood is also super green. Like, as you can see, it's got a bunch of trees, trees that aren't palm trees. So it actually kind of reminds me of home. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, it smells like the forest. It's so quiet. I've seen deer here before. And it's like a nice way to like lit quite literally come down after your hike. Just look around and be zen and like have a good think. Think about life, you know? Put out the positive vibes. Listen to the crickets. It's so beautiful. Hello, I just finished work and I'm gonna put my hair up because it is very greasy. As many of you will know, I do wear a wig on the show. I actually got a lot of questions about why I wear a wig since my wig is the same uh, like length as my regular hair. One sec, let me turn off my humidifier. That's probably better. It's a great question actually because as someone who also wasn't very well versed in wigs before I started on the show, I also would have wondered that. Um, how's that bun? Is that crazy? A little bit. Should we just roll with it? We're just gonna need it. So yeah, the reason I wear a wig is essentially to protect my hair. Sometimes people will use wigs to achieve like a totally different look. Some people wear it for period pieces. Some people will wear it for length, a different texture, whatever, um, different color hair. I wear one pretty much because I want to protect my actual hair from the stress, from the heat that's put on it every single day at work, uh, all the sprays that they use in it, creams, all of that. So in order to keep my actual hair nice and healthy, I wear a wig. So all of that pulling and brushing and curling and straightening and blow drying is done to the wig and not to my hair and my hair gets to grow and be healthy. Anyway, that concludes my TED talk about wigs, my wig talk. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but it is the next day from when I shot 
all the hike stuff but I didn't do an outro so I wanted to quickly come on here and say thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the vlog let me know if there are any other hikes that you guys love in LA I'm definitely gonna be vlogging a few more fun hikes if you're coming to visit LA and you're thinking about which hike to do you know it might be fun to like have a little hike vlog series to watch and like decide you know which hike is right for you oh also big big shout out to my actually let me just do this got this sweatshirt with this really cute like pink and blue stitching these pants this is it's super soft super comfy this is from madewell by the way this is their new like athleisure collection cute vibes anyways that is it you guys i hope you're all doing well stay safe and healthy and i'll see you next week bye